Hello friends, this is Mr. Finacaro. Just wanted to post a short video, more or less our midweek check-in for week four of our distance learning instruction. Uh, just wanted to go over a couple of the assignments for you that Mrs. Palladino and I posted for you all this week. Uh, there were a couple of changes that we did make and I just wanted to review them and make sure that you are all understanding the assignments and how to complete them. All right, guys, let's get started. So I am here on the ENO Global 9 period 7. If you are in first period class, the assignments are the same, so it doesn't matter from there. But um, Mrs. Palladino did post a change in one of our assignments. So this is her post right here. Uh, she just modified and explained the first assignment that you are all going to complete. So the first part of your assignment this week is to complete a Google Slides presentation. So Mrs. Palladino did make a couple of changes. She did shorten it and made it smaller for you all. And if you do click on the New Google Slides. Now, if you did work on the original Google Slides that was posted on Monday, continue to do so. But if you have not started yet, I would say to complete this one. So this is the new and updated Google Slides to complete. Okay. So when you go through the Google Slides, uh, Mrs. Palladino did also post a video here explaining each of the slides to you. So she was walking you through and guiding you through the slides and how to answer them. Okay, so this is the first part of your assignment. Okay, I won't go over this because Mrs. Palladino does go over each of the slides with you in her video, but I did want to just let you all know that it is right here for you all, we have the new Google Slides presentation to complete, as well as a video explanation from Mrs. Palladino. Now, when you do complete that, you are not done yet. Um, I know that many of you have been handing this part in and have been moving on to the other assignments that we gave you this week. So what you are going to do is you're going to go back to the original homepage of our classroom, and then you are going to scroll down to the original week four assignments, your distance learning assignment. I'm gonna go right here. And Mrs. Palladino and I did leave a number of resources here for you in order to complete all of the assignments for week four. So if you click on the directions, the directions offers an explanation as to what you need to do this week. Okay, so I did explain that the first assignment it is required, religious divisions. Uh, that was the Google Slides presentation. Now your second assignment is a Castle Learning or Google Forms document, which has questions. So just follow along. You are going to complete the homework using Castle Learning or Google Forms. Now, Mrs. Palladino, if you look back on the original assignment, right here highlighted, she does explain that your Castle Learning ID is SC dot, and then it's your first three letters of your last name, first name, and then your last name. So Mrs. Palladino's here would be SC dot when Palladino. Okay. Mine would be SC dot Sal uh, So you are going to click on this link here. If you have any questions in logging into Castle Learning, that's where you will find your questions for your, your second assignment for this week. We're going to click login 
and then this is where you are going to plug in your ID and password. Now, if you do have trouble logging into Castle Learning, please let Mrs. Palladino and I know. We could reset your password or we could guide you through into getting into uh, Castle Learning. Okay. Now, if Castle Learning does not work for some reason, if there are technical issues or there is no account set up for you, we do have a Google Forms here on the bottom, Unit Quiz, Religions, and the Middle Ages. Okay, the questions are also here as well. So you are going to put your name and then answer the following questions here and then click submit. So the questions are here. Uh, these are the same questions as in Castle Learning. So just let Mrs. Palladino and I know if you are going to use either the Castle Learning or the quiz on Google Forms. Great. Okay, so let's go back to the directions. Okay, just wait a for a second. Okay. Now that was your second assignment. Your third assignment is an interest based assignment. Now, here we created a comic strip guide for you all in guiding you through the third assignment. Okay, we have some directions here. But if you would like to, you could go back to the assignment and click on the comic strip guide that we created for you. And this is a wonderful guide to help you guide through week four because there are a number of assignments. So you could follow along. Here I am. And here's Mrs. Palladino, where we are introducing the week of assignments for you all, and also the topic. So here's the introduction. Okay, we're learning about division, what causes division, and the specific divisions we are speaking about this week. This was the Google Slides assignment, which was step one. Okay, now step two, this is now the third assignment you are going to pick a topic. There are two topic questions that you have a choice of in further studying. Okay, the first topic question, and from the Google Slides, you should have a, at least a little bit of a background of the topic questions that we are going to discuss. The first topic question is, why have the differences between the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church led to conflict and tensions that continue today. So still there are conflicts and tensions between the division of those two churches and it still exists today and that has been going on for hundreds of years. Okay guys, so if you would like to discuss the topic question, I did provide for you all some websites in English and in Spanish to help you further understand and learn about the topic. Okay, So that is one choice that you have for your third assignment. And then your second topic question is right here. Why do countries with Sunni or Shia populations have so much conflict today? Why are they fighting? Okay. So if you would like to answer that question and learn more about it, then you are going to go to the step two topic question resources. And there I also provided websites and articles in English and in Spanish so you could further learn about that question. So there are a choice of two questions. The first question is about the division of churches. The second is about the divisions between Sunni and Shia people in Islam. Okay, so it's really uh, very interesting topics to discuss. Now, once you decide, did, and also research one topic, then you are going to show us create creatively what you've learned. And we gave you a number of options in how to 
show us what you've learned. Okay, the first creative option is you could create a Google Slides presentation. Now this is similar to what we did in the beginning of the year, the Kiva project, but on a much smaller scale. So if you want to show how much you've learned about your topic question using a Google Slides presentation, you could do that using at least five slides. Your second option is, of course, a Flipgrid, which is a new resource that we've been using these past couple of weeks. Your third option is conducting an interview. So you're going to research your topic and then find someone and interview them about their faith. It must be someone who has a different faith than yours and you could ask them questions in order to better understand their religion. So you have to interview someone of a different faith and to learn more about their religion and what they specifically believe. So that could be a great option to pick. And then the fourth option is your basic one page report. Okay, and of course the fifth option, is we, leave, we always leave it up to you guys, if you have any other ideas in how you want to express what you've learned in your topic questions that you've picked, let us know. We are open to new and creative ideas in how you want to discuss what you've learned, okay? Grading, so grading, we created a rubric for you, okay? Your rubric is based on content and creativity, and it is out of six points, okay? Three points is the highest, two is the middle ground, and then one is the lowest, okay? So we are going to be basing our grade on this rubric. So this rubric is also helpful for you all to follow along as you complete the project, just to further question yourself in, okay, am I more in the three range, the two range, or the one range, and how could I further improve my project in getting those threes, getting into the green area of content and creativity. And that's about it. That's all, folks. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. Please reread through the learner's guide. Okay, everything is here for you all in completing the assignments. I know that there are a number of assignments, but we have all of the resources for you all in successfully completing them. But there could be questions along the way, which is understandable. So please comment on our Google Classroom assignment, and we will be more than happy to answer any questions or concerns. And we look forward to your wonderful work. Uh, a couple of you have already been handing in the Google Slides presentation, which is great, and completing the online quiz. So we are looking forward to what creative projects that uh, you all are going to hand in and the wonderful information that you have learned this week. All right, guys, we hope that, again, you all are doing well. We wish the best for you and your families. We hope everyone is home happy, healthy, and safe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. Bye.